Let's begin with one of the most talked about new shows on television. 60 Days In is a new reality series on A&E that debuted last week, and it takes seven law-abiding citizens and locks them up in a penitentiary in Indiana for two months. Norm, can you set up what prison officials say they wanted to get out of this experiment, first of all? Sure. The, the idea of the pilot program is to root out abuse and corruption and negligence within a functioning penal system, like within the prison itself. Mm -hmm. the, um, as, as, they, as we heard in the introduction, the guy running this uh, said that he can't trust the self-reporting to work. There's, there's just, you know, he's right. People cover for other people. Prisoners don't snitch on each other. We've all seen every movie ever made. Um, the problem with the show is that it also has. I think it sort of turns its own. It, reality shows aren't reality. They're an edited cut version. And the minute that I heard the score of this, which is this agitated, nervous underscore music that you'd hear on an episode of CSI or Survivor, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah, that. That's how they're processing this. So we don't. We're not getting the truth. The the people running the, pro the, the project might have, but I don't think the audience is really getting what it is. Okay, so that's the prison officials' intentions. What about these citizens who volunteer to get locked up? What's, oh, the, what's their intention? Right. Well, these are good people, but oh dear. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's a bit of a spectrum. So, sure. you know, and again, it sort of it follows all the kind of reality TV tropes where you have the kind of, you know, the villain, the jerk. There's a guy that's a teacher who's like, you know, this is like a country club and, I, you know, I work two jobs and these people have it easy. And then you have this woman who grew up in the foster care system who was a cop herself who really wants to understand how it was that you know she was able to rise above her background and and lots of other lots of people she grew up with didn't there's a guy who i think was a, a former marine or a, mil a guy in the military so you have these various characters who are kind of i think there's seven or eight of them and they're mix almost, of motivations mix of it. motivations pitted against one another and so it is a bit of a survivor kind of thing where there are certain personalities you're supposed to maybe feel more empathy for and certain mm -hmm. people who you're kind of looking forward to seeing them getting their comeuppance in Yeah, way. it's painted pretty quickly that yeah. a couple of these people are going to be treated. They may not be themselves, but the show is going to treat them as yeah. idiots. So a lot yeah. of classic reality TV tropes. I'm Absolutely. A, well, my yeah. husband's in the military, and you know he, he works real hard mm. to get his three squares a day. I'm quoting that. That's not an exaggeration. Mm. That's something yeah. this woman says to a camera at the beginning, and you can just sort of feel the producers cracking their knuckles and going, oh, yeah. We're going yeah. to take her. Yeah. This is gold. Well, Charles, what, what strikes you about the way Life in Prison is portrayed on this show? Um, false. Mm. It's just uh, it's wrong. It's uh, it's it's. I really believe. I I don't believe that that the a system, a sheriff. Uh, there are there are a, a number of individuals that who can be trained and who can be sent in there to 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 um, accumulate the intel they're looking for. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe. I think this is a sensationalized idea. I don't think it's uh, helpful for. The, the it's very simple to inform. I think someone such as Barbara, Barbara, uh, the, so. the young yeah. mother, in a conversation about the reality of prison without sending her in it. Um, I think that the the it's exactly it, it's amazing rates. It's Survivor. It's all these shows, but you're dealing with people's real lives. We're talking about uh, a, a situation. Uh, we understand the prison, uh, the the mentality around prison. In, in the United States, is, is uh, there's a lot of propaganda behind that. There's a lot of ideas that that just are not cool. And I won't I don't I won't see the show going into those spaces. No. Oh yeah, well contrabands being shipped in on the on the on the on the uh, the meal trays. Uh, that's not new information. Like mm -hmm. where's it you coming know, from? Is where's it coming story. from? And how is it getting into the prisons? And 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 then really reading. I would like to see them if they were going to react to things they find out in the show. Uh, well, I won't be watching to find out, but <laughs> but uh, with security guards or, or people who are doing corrupt things, what, what are the repercussions for those people in the show when they do find something yeah. out? Well, that's a, that's the central question is there are a lot of important conversations to be yes. had about the prison system, and is it happening on this show, are those no. Yeah. no? I mean, and again, I think this. I think this is an exercise in entertainment, not yes. an exercise in Absolutely. actually trying to find justice. And part of it is, I mean, I think it's a, re a real issue, and perhaps the intentions of this sheriff who replaced a sheriff who had been, I think, fired, and then I think actually sort of charged himself who wants to reform the system. And, you know, so I think there is something actually perhaps good intentions there. Absolutely. But it doesn't, this show is not out to sort of upset the whole question of why the United States in particular is such a criminally justice 
service-driven society. I think it's like the U.S. now has, I think, a quarter of the world's prisoners. I mean, it is an it's extraordinary part <laughs> of American culture. And I don't think this show is is set up to question um, the kind of law and order, the kind of the 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 reforms that came through the drug war in the 80s, and then the and welfare reform and the Violent Crime Act in in, in the 90s, which Hillary Clinton is getting a lot of flack for now, mm -hmm. that um, have made the prison system such such an enormous part of American life. And, you know, there are good journalists who have talked about life in prison. There are people like mm -hmm. Ryan Stevenson, who has done a ton of work around prison reform. So it's not like these stories aren't out there and you can't find good information about prisons. You don't need this A&E show yeah. to, to so do that. So it may not be helpful. Uh, Norm, do you think it's dangerous? I don't. I don't know that it is. I think it's probably the opposite of dangerous just because, you know, thanks to the magic of the Heisenberg principle, if you're observing something, you're already affecting it. So I don't think any of these people is going to get seriously hurt because there are cameras following them the whole time. Mm. Nobody's going to show off for the camera because, I mean, as dumb as you might be to, to think that taking out a reality star is a great idea in a prison fight, you're still committing a crime with evidence on it. And we're told very clearly in the first episode that if you commit a crime in prison, you still get, you, you will be tried and there is time at it. So what, what about danger in terms of being harmful to the kinds of conversations we need to oh, have? Oh, I see, as sorry. Far as, um, uh, I don't know. I think if something good results of the from the program, we will hear about that, I'm sure, because that would be the final episode, right? That's a great ending. Uh, I think it will, like everything else that reality television touches, it will probably cheapen and stigmatize something mm -hmm. about this subject. But I don't know. It's on A&E. I don't know how much well, impact it's going to have. Well, in, 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 spite of, in spite of all these criticisms... <laughs> I'm a monster. In spite of all these criticisms, uh, everybody has to admit this is an enticing premise as far as viewers go. Oh, yeah, Survivor Attica, right? Charles, why, why do you think we're continually drawn to these kinds of stories i think it's i think there's there's this place of you know crime punishment where where one can kind of uh, put their side on it well, we see that crime happens and individuals who commit them it's not me and um and i think that there's a fascination of this lab rat sort of mentality from oz to orange is a new black to these shows where we're seeing prison life but there's a separation for 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 most people, um, and I think that it's it's it, you know I think folks are are, are stimulated by by danger mm -hmm. and 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 what's going to happen and and mm. all that just same way we love a great Hitchcock movie, but mm. I think that with 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 uh, you know this being this sort of uh, game show to me, it's a bit of a game show. It's um, and the editing, and so there's a lot of manipulation going on, mm -hmm. and that, and and that for me is where th the manipulation of the, actually the material is harmful. And I think it, but and I think it also it it preys on the same, or it plays on the same um, that anger and resentment that we're seeing in Trump rallies. Like to me, it seems like it's it's actually quite fascinating. This is coming out now because again, I think the kind of like the that 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 anger that 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 violence that that um you know the images of that old racist white protester you know sucker punching that kid in the face i mean i think all of that is in the air right now and i think a show like this where there there is a kind of like gladiators in the coliseum kind of approach like mm. what are these people going to get up to trapped in this environment that i think is kind of a appealing to a certain kind of bloodlust yes 